good morning people so I'm in GG mode and I know I don't have lips to represent GG mode but um, I kind of played around with the color Lolita with one of my lip liners from Estee Lauder 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 why can't I talk this morning um, it's called russet I believe and um, I, you know, I've been wanting like this orange lip and I think it's like the original Lolita. I don't know. I get them mixed up. I don't know now which one's which. I know I'm missing one of them, so I'm freaking out, but I'm, I just know it's got to be somewhere to be found. I just got to look through that junky makeup room of mine and find it. But, um, so I really want that Laura Mercier's uh, lip liner and baby lips. And um, I'm not buying it just yet because I'm on a budget. And so I kind of wanted to play around with Lolita because that one, the, whether it's the original or the second, you know, whatever it is, but it, it's, it has like a tad bit more of an orangey vibe to it. Not, not orange, but like um, uh, peachy, I guess. Um, <clears throat> yeah, peachy. Why am I saying orange? But anyway... Um, so, because of that, I thought, let me see what it will look like with the russet. And russet's a tad bit of a rust color um, lip liner. A tad bit. It is a rust color lip liner. And I kind of like y'all. What you think? I think I like. Yeah, so um, I'm not technically, my lips aren't in GG mode. But that's okay. We're headed off to the zoo. I'm meeting my son by my work because it keeps us moving along a little bit better and faster. So um, I'm hoping I'm gonna make it on time. You guys know I am always running late. It's like, like this morning I'm like, oh, I got plenty of time. I can do this. I can be out of my house by 20 after. Well, at 10, well, seven after, I'm still putting on my makeup. And I wasn't even sure, like I kind of knew what I was gonna wear, but like I'm just hoping that the outfit was gonna fall together, and thankfully enough, it did. So um, my outfit is on point for GG mode as far as like I have on my little like boat shoes. Is that what they're called? I don't know, they're like little flat things crossed between a sneaker and a shoe, and I don't know, they're, um, as you can tell, my top is gray, and my leggings are, are like a little bit deeper. Hello, what am I doing? deeper shade of gray. I got on like the 50 shades of gray today. Like I went to work one day this week in the 50 shades of gray and I was going to announce that I was wearing the 50 shades of gray, but like I didn't record. Um, well, I, I think I started out recording, but I didn't take a snapshot or something. I don't know. The past week has been totally hectic for me and I'm going to have to stop this and not, well not stop y'all because I'm going to chat with y'all for a minute. But, um, I, um, uh, well, maybe. I don't know. It depends on what the glare does when I get up on this highway because this is that little crazy point of life. But, yeah, so, um, I, uh, what was I saying? See, I think I'm getting old, y'all. I can't remember things. Um, oh, well, we were talking about the Fifty Shades of Grey. So, anyway, I didn't record or something. I don't know. But, anyway, so today I literally have on, like, the Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> my bra is gray TMI TMI but I am wearing a gray bra that I bought at Ross and I love it actually it mimics the Victoria's Secret oh wait no I lied wait yeah no yeah it is from Ross because I remember thinking it mimics the Victoria's Secret bras and it was like $5.99 or something you know like Ross's price and I love it like I freaking love it and um Yeah, for a no booby girl. <laughs> I love me some Victoria's Secret bras. For one, they give me boobs and I don't have to pay for them. And I can take them off when I don't want them. <laughs> no, I mean, nothing against my boob lovers out there. Because, you know, you, you do you and I do me. But I like having my no boobs. It just works for me. Because when I need them, I just put them on. And when I don't need them, I don't have to suffer the consequences. Okay, this guy here in this orange car, whatever it is, it's an ugly little thing, but he's going like super slow, and it's like a sports car, so you tend to think those go really fast. It's a girl, but it 
looks like she's, I don't know, like she's shaking her hands with the window or something. I don't know. She was like doing this number. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. But whatever. But anyway, so yeah. So um, getting back to my Fifty Shades of Grey. So I am totally wearing all grey. Like now, um, I do have grey panties, but I didn't put them on. I'm telling you, TMI, what am I doing? I'm drinking coffee. It's not making me hyper because I've only had a couple sips out of it. I was going to stop and do a Starbucks thing, but I knew I was going to be running late. And sure enough, I am. So, thus, I am not drinking Starbucks coffee. I'm drinking Seattle's Best, which that's okay. And I don't even have it in my mug, which is scary because that means I can't bump and I can't do anything because I don't want to lose my coffee gear on my clothing because I'm wearing my colored clothing and that would not be good. So yeah, so anywho, my nails are painted a beautiful color, St. Patty's Day Green. Look at that, guys. Like, it's a, a Wet n Wild brand. Well, yeah, it's Wet n Wild brand. But, I don't know, let me see if I can find it. I have it in my purse. It's like a little cheapy. It cost me like a dollar. And I don't know the color because I don't know where to find the color at on this bad boy. It's right there, but I can't see it because I don't have my glasses on. And I don't want to wreck so I'll put the name of it below. But isn't that a pretty color green? And that's what it looks like on my nails. I bought this like last year. Um, sometime or another. Like um, not for St. Patrick's Day. Like I just saw. I love green. Hello. Oh yeah guys. Guess what? I forgot to show y'all. Let me show y'all. I got my green bag out again. I needed crossbody things going on today. Because of course I'm going to the zoo. And I need my hands to be free. And I was going to carry my Kate Spade one. Which I never really did shown y'all I posted it on Instagram with my date night outfit of the day we're gonna talk about it one day soon I was real hesitant because I hadn't used it and I was almost like I need to take the bad boy back because girl not using it what's up but then I realized that hey you haven't had a reason to go crossbody on nobody as far as like smaller crossbody whereas like okay we got something going on here people don't y'all jump out in front of me because y'all get crazy when y'all see cars bunching all up and everything but yeah so um, anywho, so yeah, I, I think I'm going to keep her now. I love her. I think she's pretty. I just, I think I was freaking out because I had spent, like, you know, money on her. And I hadn't used her yet. But, you know, now that, you know, the, I'm going to say summer is among us because, you know, they're predicting no more cold weather. And they are, I mean, like, we've had 87 as a high. Like, seriously, what is going on? But anyway, so summer is among us. For sure spring and um, I know that I'll be doing much more outdoorsy things and um, yeah so um, I'm gonna keep her I am totally rambling like right about now I'm saying all kinds of crazy stuff I don't know I'm just talking because I'm in a happy mood today well actually I'm not in a happy mood because okay I got on the scale this morning and I've got a problem I don't understand what it is like I know I need to exercise more than what I'm doing I mean I'm, I'm doing about three times a week but I've only really kind of like tar I mean like how do I put it I'm, I'm exercising three times a week when I can but I need to be three times a week and plus all the time not less than three times a week so I had been doing the thing at lunchtime and I kind of tapered off that because I was supposed to start working out in the evenings and then some evenings it wouldn't transpire and then, you know, it's like, so then that was a day that nothing happened. So when I got on the scale this morning, my one pound that I had gained, I mean lost, uh, I had lost a pound and three ounces. I had gained five ounces yesterday and now I'm back to exactly where I was and actually two ounces over. So, I mean, and I kind of picked out last night because oh, I had, like, patio wings <laughs> on the patio. And it was magnificent. I love, love, love teriyaki wings. Okay, so they do something to me on the inside. <laughs> they make me feel happy. They make me feel loved. They hit my happy spot. And I don't get them very often. So, um, yeah, so, but I, I know that by the time I... I mean, like, by the time I take my trip to Florida, I've got to be 10 pounds lighter. And so I may have to just go drastic on a people, on a people, on, a, on my body. I may have to just do the no carbs thing. And then if I can just drop 
if I can drop five pounds, I think it'll just get me going. And then if I can drop another five, I'll be happy. Which, like, if I target it in five, because the, you know, I mean, and I think if I just do the no carb thing just to get myself down to that point, then maybe I'll be motivated more. Because, like, I literally, I mean, like, I shed a tears this morning. I was so upset with, I mean, it's like, because I've cut back, I've tried cutting back, and I, I mean, again, like I said, I know I'm not exercising 100% as much as I want to or should, and I know that's what everybody say, doctors and everybody say, the key to it is always exercising, but you know, I'm a person that's on the go, Nine, I mean, 99% of the time, this girl is pumping, I mean, like, I'm walking, I'm doing this, I'm, you know, I am not a lazy person. And I am that person that parks far away. I don't try to get the spot that's sitting in, you know, on the sidewalk next to the store. You know, like I literally park wherever I can park and I walk wherever I need to walk. Like, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. So, yeah. Okay, I just had a rant. I apologize, but I don't know. Like, I just gotta, I just gotta get drastic. I mean, I've got my, I've got my, um, my ninja book Nutri Ninja going and um, I just got to get a few more I got to get some vegetables to toss in that bad boy I need to get some carrots and stuff like that I don't have any carrots I've been doing fruits all this week so next week I think I'm gonna do all veggies I'm gonna try to incorporate some I'm gonna drink and that's gonna be probably like my my lunch I think I don't know we'll see but I'm moving right along. The traffic is definitely on my side today, which is fantastic because, of course, like I said, girlfriend left late. Oh, hey, you want to know what's on my face? Let me see. Can, can we see? I don't know how well we can see because right now the sun's not glaring up in my face. So maybe I can show you guys real quickly. I have on my Becca. I don't know. It's, it's the one that I've been wearing, but it's... You know, I've, I've been trying to master all these names of these foundations, which hasn't been good because now I'm, I'm forgetting my, my ones that I've had forever. And it's a long name too, something green, something foundation. I don't remember, but it's the one I've always worn. So I have it on today because of course I know I'm going to be out in, at the zoo all day and, and not like hot because it's not going to be hot. It's supposed to be like 77, but you know, warm. And I just didn't want, like, to be worried about if my makeup was going to slide off my face. Not that my makeup ever slide off my face. I always laugh when I hear people say that. Because I'd always go, well, my makeup never slides off my face. But, I don't know. I guess I've just been blessed with the type of skin that my stuff just kind of stayed put. And I didn't set it today. Darn it. But anyway, anyhow, that's what I have on. My color is amber. And um, I already told you about my lips. My eyes are the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette along with the Bizart. Uh, just one color out of there. I just took the gray, the darkest gray, and the, um, that one, I think it's the palette number one, nude one, or whatever it's called. Um, and I kind of have it kind of like in the corner here mixed with that grayish black color that's in the Shade of Light Palette. And then I have that taupey color that's in the top center of the Shade of Lights palette, like all over my lid. That's all I did. I did pop a little bit of white in that corner to kind of open up my eyes just a little bit. But um, that's all I did as far as the eyes. The only on my cheeks and um, mascara is, you know, my usual perversion. Or, yeah, today it's just perversion. And um, what else? Liner is perversion. That is about it. My leggings are from Express. They're old. Like, I've had them for years. But these are my gray ones that I never really wore very much. I used to have... Well, I still have the top. I think I just haven't worn it in a long time. Okay, I need some glasses back on because... Yeah, here we go. Here we go now. Here we go now. I did that yesterday, too. I don't know. It's like sometimes when I say the words, here we go, I always think of that song. I don't know. Whatever. But, um, yeah, so... Um, my leggings are from Express. Like I said, I've had them forever. And um, I just, the top, whoa. The top that I had, almost lost some of my, my coffee. Um, that I wore with them. I don't wear it anymore. I wonder why. I think I still have it. It's a gray and white striped top. And it's really cute. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, 
so um, yeah so that's my bottoms and then my top this is actually just a $9.99 it's a really supposed to be a dress but um, this one was a little bit short I thought and um, I actually had it on the other day to wear to work and I was like I mean I don't know it's like the same length I think it's some of my other dresses but for some reason it just felt short I don't know so I ended up taking it off and um, I was gonna wear this date night on Thursday with my gray I well, won't the way that I have it on now and then I decided that I wanted to wear my leggings because I wanted to have long sleeves on because fearful that it would get cold because I was outside and it was well I didn't know for sure that I was gonna be outside or inside I turned out inside but then and I was glad because it wasn't warm in there at all it was actually kind of chilly in there so I was glad that I wore the outfit that I wore so then I said to in my head hey wear this outfit for um, zoo day because it's super comfortable so I have it on for zoo day so yeah so okay well let's see I probably got another five minutes of driving probably ten minutes of driving I love it when people say I do it too oh I'm, I'm like five minutes away and you're really ten minutes away or I'm ten minutes away and you're really twenty minutes away but the traffic is moving really good so I'm glad about that all right everybody want to do their thing okay what, are you gonna go or what swung out like you wanted to pass me so bad and then you're not even you can't even pass me because you weren't going fast enough oh, people 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 you know that need to be first it just it it's comical to me sometimes like everybody has that need to be first like and I don't know I'm just not like that I'm like as long as I'm driving safely I'm good as I'm talking as I'm while I'm driving but you know what I mean like I'm not a I don't speed like I try to linger somewhere around that speed limit I will do maybe a couple of miles over but I'm not gonna be trying to prove anybody's point by saying I gotta get there first because as my daddy used to say I want to get there you know and um, you know life don't offer guarantees as it is so when you throw in all those other craziness it really, I mean, you know, <laughs> you're really, you're really slimming down your odds. So, yeah, so, anyhow, I guess he's happy now. He's trotting along, like, maybe three car, uh, yeah, probably about three car spaces in front of me. So, he's probably really happy now. He feels like, you know, he's accomplished something today. His, his manhood is in check. So, yeah. big old ramp. I'm getting closer. Closer by the day. Closer by the minute. Okay, I don't even know what I'm singing. I'm just being silly right about now. I'm getting tired of my coffee for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I'm running on things to share with you guys. So tell me what's going on with y'all. Like, I, I know. It's like, see, I went from, like, not re not doing any videos to, like, all these, like, 20 minute long videos. The one yesterday that I uploaded this morning which I still need to go in and do all my description and all that stuff. I like literally uploaded it as I was sleeping last night and you know my situation this morning. So of course I didn't go in and do anything this morning, but um, I felt like Chatty Cathy yesterday and I feel like Chatty Cathy today. So it's like, this is when my vlogging is easy, when it just flows. And for some reason, those first couple weeks when I came back, I would try and it felt like it was just so cut up and so, not me and I, I was like no I don't like it it's not me it doesn't sound like me I don't know I just whatever but see now I feel like these vlogs are Sheila this is me I do me you do you okay we've already said that once in this video like let's not just keep on repeating ourselves here we go around the mulberry bush the mulberry bush the mulberry bush here we go around the mulberry bush so early in the morning is it I don't remember. I don't know. I'm just being silly. I'm up on the bridge. And now I've got to try to measle my way on over here to this lane. 
you know, it's so funny. You know, like when you take a, a ride every day, you go to the same place every day. Like I go to work every day. And so when we agreed to meet here by my job, I was like, perfect. Because for some reason, it seems like I can get here without thinking, even though I know where they live, but like, it's kind of like in and out. And I don't know. I just feel like I'm like, I'm always like, there's a lot of lights. And I think that's what it is. As I, once I get into that stone oak area, there's all these lights and heels and you know, and I just feel like I can't, I'm not accomplishing anything. Like I'm not going fast enough or something. I don't know. Insane, I guess, but yeah. So anywho, I'm almost there people. I'm almost there. Yay. This is so cool. Like I'm excited. I haven't seen my grandson in like two weeks. Well, really kind of like three weeks because I saw him the Sunday before I left and then I didn't see him until today. Yeah, so technically three weeks. It'd be three weeks on Sunday. So, a day short of three weeks. But, I wasted this coffee because I haven't been drinking it after the front of my mouth, y'all. But oh well. It was good coffee though. This is this my son? I think that's my son right there. It is my son. <laughs> oh my God, how cool is that? Like we're literally getting here at the same time. That is too cool. He's waving at me. This is so freaking cool. Like, okay, I'm being silly, but that's my baby. And I love that boy to death. Like, you guys have no idea. Um, oh God, I'll get, I'll freaking get the crying up in this piece. So I need to not even go there because I don't want to mess my makeup up. But that boy is literally my heart. Like, he is everything and then some to me. Like, he is just, he's all I've got in this world, you know? So... That was totally weird. Hello, people. So it is 5, 10 in the evening, and I am headed in from the zoo. I'm like literally almost home. I wasn't going to do a video. This is very improv too. So I, um, this is in Prague, y'all. It's definitely in Prague. Like, I was just like, I'm gonna just do a video real quick because I wanted to check out to see what my makeup looked like. Now, I have no idea what my makeup looked like because, go ahead. I, um, I haven't looked at myself <laughs> since I, like, left the house this morning or since I was doing my video. So, I have no earthly idea what the face looks like. So, let me take off my glasses. And we will look and see. Let's see what we look like. Huh. And I have been out in the heat all day. I mean, my eyes look a little bit picky because, okay, you know what was happening? The eyes got the running, y'all. Something fierce out there at that zoo. There when we got into it, the trees and all that stuff was. But, um, yeah. So, hmm. not too bad. It's not too bad like my ring in that party I got this ring my friend Shelly gave me this ring I had to think for a minute my friend Shelly she like bought it and I think it didn't fit her finger or something and so she gave it to me I love this ring okay so I pulled into McDonald's because I want a diet Dr. Pepper like something fierce Yes, hi. Good afternoon. Um, can I have a large diet, Dr. Pepper, please? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, I thought those were like 129 or something. Okay. Hi. Yes. Thank you so much. You too. Okay, I could have sworn these drinks were supposed to be like a dollar thirty. Like I know they went up from their ninety-nine cents, but I thought they went up to a dollar thirty, and that just said a dollar forty-nine. So that means they went up again. So, like I think I'm not gonna get another large drink from here again. Like not. So you want to know okay like seriously I'm so exhausted it's been a long day but oh my eyes itching at the top so my little earrings like I hadn't I forgot I had these and the other day I was looking at my good jewelry like section <laughs> and I, I saw these and I was like oh my god I haven't worn them in forever so like I do so threw them on and then I have look at this my little pendant is that like the cutest thing ever I like I love my little sterling silver so today I'm literally not wearing like a lot of James Avery I do have one James Avery thing on and that's it like yeah that's it but I mean I like totally did other sterling silver which I have a lot of sterling silver I just don't wear it this is like just a little cross ring I don't even remember where I got it I've had it forever and then of course this is I do wear this all the time but I love this ring like whenever I look at it I think about my friend Shelly getting it for me and it's just, I think this is the one that Shelly gave me. Because I have another one. Yes, this is the one that she gave me. I think. Or did I buy it myself? And she liked it. I can't even remember. I've had it for a long time. But anyway, there's me and my friend Shelly have a history with this ring. I just can't remember exactly. But I, if I bought it, it came from TJ Maxx. If she bought it, it may have come from TJ Maxx. But I don't know for sure. But yeah, and my chain that I have my pendant on is my James Avery chain. And I think it's like the 26 inch or something like that. And then of course, I do have on my James Avery bracelet. So I was trying to figure out what else James Avery I had on, but it's my bracelet. And then this is my, my um, not Michael Kors, I always wear that. Um, this is my, um, my coach watch. I was like, what is it that I have on my wrist? It's my coach watch. So that is it for accessories today. Hello. Yes, thank you so much. Have a great day. Have a good night. You too. Bye bye. Okay, so. And that's done. Okay. So I'm probably going to go home. I want to take a shower because I feel like really really sweaty and um, like just like I think I'm gonna get on the patio and just chill for a bit as my friend would say my friend Juliet from back home chill for a hot minute girl all right so yeah the zoo was beautiful maybe I'll insert a couple pictures at the end I didn't really do too much picture taking because I don't know like I think what it is is that when I get involved with my family like I like it to be my family and then afterwards I'm like well I can't share pictures with you guys because I didn't take any or like like we do have one that my son took and um, I'm hoping he's gonna send that to me like tonight maybe hopefully so I can share that one with you guys for sure if I don't get it on this vlog I'll get it on I'll get it out there but we had such a cool time we rode the train and we discovered my that my grandson likes popcorn like he loves popcorn but yeah so 
that. I mean, that's pretty much it. Like we just had, we just enjoyed each other's company, and we went to Josephine's afterwards, which we had, we just had dinner at Josephine's, which was really nice, and the food was delicious. And um, if you're in the San Antonio area, you and you don't know, Josephine's is a restaurant that's downtown in San Antonio, kind of like on Grayson and something or another. But it is a restaurant that used to be a house. I think it used to be a house. But anyway, it has a tree that's literally growing up in the middle of it. Like um, the tree, it was, I guess, like built over top of a tree. And then like, um, like I guess it had been derooted, but then it like didn't, like it kept growing and then it ended up going up to the restaurant or something weird like that. But anyway, it's a beautiful, cool little restaurant. and. So we sat out on the patio and we just kind of chatted and just talked about where we are now in life and, and you know just watching my grandson play and it's just so beautiful and so it's moments like that that you can't pick up your phone and just go I'm gonna start vlogging you know so I apologize I guess I should have did some vlogging I, I think I have one little a couple little tidbits that I might can throw in that I kind of did some quick little vlogging that I can show in but not vlogging, but like just recording just some of the stuff that was that we were seeing and whatnot. So, ooh, two big dogs. But okay, so I just pulled into Mikasa. Bye. <laughs> Meet Lucky, the elephant who lives at the zoo. My beautiful family.